Hi, I'm Nate Hardy. And I'm Sarah Kaufman. The Wiley High School Film Contest has come to a close. The top short films will be shown on May 22nd at B&B Theaters. Ticket holders will be excused from class and concessions will be sold at the theater. Finalists will be announced and tickets will be sold on May 15th through the 19th. Next up, we have a new teacher, Mr. Haynes. Hi, I'm Tom Haynes. I teach uh, here at Wiley High School in the CTE building. I teach computer maintenance and troubleshooting, telecommunications, and advanced computer programming. I would rather teach than be in the corporate world. I've learned that uh, I didn't know everything that I uh, thought I knew as far as uh, all of the subjects that I've been teaching and I've learned a lot about uh, computer programming uh, since becoming a teacher. I had to know it well enough to be able to instruct my students in how to do it. Every day that I come in I am thankful that uh, I'm out of the corporate world and actually doing something that uh, is more meaningful to uh, a greater number of people, kind of giving back to my community. I uh, attended college at uh, University of Texas at Arlington and then I went to uh, work at Lockheed Martin. I was instrumental in setting up the telecommunications for the F-16 program worldwide and that's I got to travel to 16 different countries. Probably when I see the light go on in a student's head that they got a very complex idea, I'm satisfied when I am, when they're able to tell me enough about it to where I understand what they're saying. They actually get it and they can um, tell me about it, uh, what they learned. I like the fact that there is a uh, very diverse uh, student body. Well, thank you for uh, having me here and interviewing me, and uh, I hope to see you in one of my classes next year. <laughs> Up next are the senior directs. Come see it May 4th. The admission is free, but donations will be accepted for the theater scholarships. It's um, very interesting because you get someone on your level of like expertise like they they know you they're also a student so they have that same amount of skill that you have so you don't feel like you're alone really but uh, you start to have a good relationship with the person directing you and you get a real feel of uh, their style each person has a different style you know it's really about the the mentorship you know um, I like all the things that I've learned in theater uh, teaching to the, the underclassmen underneath me and you know just kind of starting a theater legacy um, it's really cool to be a part of that uh, yes, I would love to, and I've been actually looking for scripts by this point. Definitely, I'm so excited for that. I can't wait to direct a show next year. <laughs> that's a good one, that's a good one. Um, well, I kind of just walk up to Miss Harrison, I'm like, what's a good play? And then she's like, oh, this one. And I'm like, let me read it. And then you read it and you don't like it, so then you got to find a new one. So you just kind of go through random scripts until you find a new one. It's not really an easy way to do it. Yeah, having the opportunity to find someone who was kind of like me underclassman year um, in terms of skill and seeing someone else and being over someone else and really directing them is what I'm excited about. Just seeing the final product is what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the, the journey in between, but the final product is really what you want to look for. Yes. I would say yes. It, being a director, um, it has given me, I guess, more respect for the director role. Um, I used to think that it was easy because you didn't have to act, you know, the pressure's not on you because you're not the one performing, when in fact it's actually more work than you think because you gotta, you gotta block, you gotta deal with hooligans, you gotta uh, pick a play, you gotta read the play a lot, and you gotta, you know, schedule for rehearsal. And um, But it's really cool to see the final product, you know. It's all about mentoring, you know. Uh, I like mentoring to children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk! People are laughing at me! Next is a late April Fool skit. Alright, right now it is lunch and we've gotten all the 6th period CTE students to pull a prank on the teachers. So the idea is this, basically. We are hiding from the teachers so when they come back from lunch they will not be greeted with their 6th period class but instead an empty classroom. Well, so these are all security cameras set up around the teachers rooms. This is how we're going to watch what they're doing. Um, during the prank, we will be monitoring their moves and using it against them as blackmail. Alright class. Whoa. Looks like the 
Looks like they're having a meeting or something. This is so weird. <laughs> and tomorrow is not the day. So it's during class. I don't know. The heck, they're having a party. Why are they? Okay. They were just having. A are you getting this? Look at that. Tardy passes. Uh, about that. I don't know. 